All right, here at D9 Football Media Day with the Punxsutawney Chucks, guys. Welcome. Glad to be here. And uh, go around and introduce yourself. Okay, yeah. Alan Nickel, head coach, Punxsutawney Football. Landon Peterson, senior. Quinn Vocal, senior. Uh, Justin Miller, also senior. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Uh, first question for you. Um, who's one guy on the team that uh, people might not know about or might be flying a little under our radar that you feel like people are really going to find out about as the season goes on? Uh, Seth Moore. Mm -hmm. Uh, he played a lot of defensive back last year. He didn't get a really a lot of uh, – he got a lot of quarterback playing time, but he's really going to get a shot to sling the ball around this year, so I feel like he'll be a pretty big impact on the team. Nice. No, I think Landon Marks is a big one. Uh, he he shined a lot on defense, but I think he's going to get a little more playing time on offense, get a little more into the team. Mm -hmm. I'm almost going to say uh, Noah Weir. Uh, he uh, – it was safe last year, but now we're gonna, we switched him to uh, some wide receiver, and uh, he's, he's a pretty fast kid and uh, pretty good wide receiver, and I think he'll uh, uh, excel in the gameplay. I thought those were good answers. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Um, schedule uh, looks probably a little different this year. Um, what's one thing you're looking forward to the most with that, and also? Um, Tell me a little bit about what that rivalry with Brookville is like. Uh, so we've been playing with the kids that are uh, seniors now in Brookville. We've played with them since we were just little, so it obviously means a little more to us now. And it's just we know the know the people, not personally, but we know them. And uh, but it's it's just all about winning the football game. Sure. Uh, the, set all the other stuff aside, and it's just just a football game at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Um, the getting the trophy back is a big. I I think it's a big thing. Well, we lost it freshman year and haven't got it back. But I think I think we have a pretty good shot of getting it back this year. We have a lot of a lot of kids coming back from last year. Had a lot of varsity playing time. I feel like we can get it back. And then the schedule. Uh, this year I feel like we get hit the ground running right off the bat this year against uh, Bradford. It's a good opponent for us first week. Yeah, get the feet, get the feet wet, and get running. Yeah, uh, our schedule, is a good schedule, and how uh, Brookville is later in the season, how we could work up into it. So we, there's going to be a really good uh, football game, I think, and uh, have a good competition and just, just battle it out, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a you know a great battle with those guys from Brookville, and uh, uh, you know we have a lot of respect for their program, but. It's, uh, uh, it's nice to have a robbery uh, that close and uh, get after it, especially later in the season. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, all right, for you guys, what is the best part about playing for coach here? Uh, I think, uh, don't take this wrong, but I think it's like, uh, doesn't beat around the bush, you know, it's not all that fancy stuff, it's, it's football, you know, it's, we're here to play football and not do the, the extra stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. The energy is always there, like he's always pushing us to be better, talking about how we're just always right there, always positive, always trying to make us better as a football team, as a as a player, as a person, and it's just great to be around. Yeah, he just keeps the program running without him. Uh, our program would probably be a little, a little uneasy and not going as smoothly as it does, and he keeps things together and brings it all, I guess. Um. And guys, obviously, staying healthy throughout the season key for any football team. But aside from that, um, what do you feel like some of the biggest keys for you guys to have a successful season? Uh, just improving every week. Uh, so, uh, like Coach mentioned in one of the other interviews, uh, Monday and Tuesday is really uh, vital to putting in the work and then bring it all together on Friday night. Just always improving. No, I think just being there, doing the drills, getting used to doing the football movements, getting them down, understanding what you need to do on what plays, and then just n just knowing like muscle memory every play, doing the same thing or what other plays require you to do, just knowing what to do at all times. To prepare uh, to possess like a, a good mindset, because uh, if you go into a game with a bad mindset, it's probably going to not go all your way, and if you go into one with a good one, it'll, uh, the game will go. It might, might not at the end of the day like win or lose, but 
uh, it will affect you and your claim? I think uh, definitely uh, the large group of seniors, we're looking for a lot of good leadership from, from these young men and, uh, and their uh, colleagues. Uh, and so I think that will carry the day, the fact that we've got a group of seniors that played together for a long time and uh, they are they're willing to make the sacrifice, do what it takes to be successful. Mm -hmm. All right, Punxsutawney Chucks, thanks so much and uh, best of luck this season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.